morning, Mr. Garland, Mr. Robert, uh, school board member, our teacher and staff, family and friends, and uh, most importantly, the Tel International School graduating class of 2022, because today is your day. <coughs> and it is an extraordinary honor for me to have had the opportunity to address you today. First of all, I have to thank all teachers and staff of Trail International School for their enormous effort um, to, in the past, having me outbreak to, to help our child pass through the difficult period of time. So please make me a big round of applause for them first. <laughs> to be honest with you, delivering a commencement address is a great responsibility for me, and it's a huge stress for me too. <laughs> Since I've never done something like this before, particularly in English, um, it made me feel like I have to take the IELTS exam uh, of about the speaking test again. <laughs> um, I do hope I can pass the test today, eventually. Uh, graduates, I'm not your teacher, guys, so I'm not here to teach you, but I'm here to share my experience to you. I will share something that I wish I should know before I was 20 with you. And today, I'm going to tell you about how to be successful in your future life. <coughs> Excuse me. And I, I will talk about the five elements, which is include, uh, um, as you see, your work, your wealth, your health, your family, and finally, your happiness. Family is the foundation of success. All your success today doesn't uh, occur with you alone. It comes from the great support from your family. So, when you return to your home today, um, please give you the big, big hug to your parents, to your family, and tell them how much you love them. For me, the simple thing to have a happy family is quite easy. I just love them unconditionally, eternally, and I try to listen to them as much as I can. Health is the most valuable asset of your life. It doesn't, not, it doesn't matter how much money do you have unless you have a you also have a good health too. Early in this year, I finished my full marathon run, and after that, I just realized that my health wasn't good enough. I still overweight, so it's like this. <laughs> I spent two months after that in behavioral modification, and the result for me is unbelievable. So, taking, taking care of your health is compulsory. It's not an option. So, you, everyone should take care of ourselves better. Another point is wealth. Wealth creation or financial freedom achievement is the most important knowledge that I wish you should know before you start working for the money. Since you have to spend almost 20 years from kindergarten to university graduation to learn how to work for the money, but indeed, you must know how to use money work for you. But unfortunately, I have not enough time to tell you all about it. Uh, but I would recommend these three books for you. These three books will change your life forever. These three books will let you know how to achieve financial freedom by yourself. The next 
this element is your work. I work as a doctor in pediatric ICU, so I take care of the children who are severely ill, including from the COVID-19 infection. That is why that I have to wear something like that in the future. And I also a teacher. I teach my medical student and my doctor who want to be a pediatrician. I also do, do the research in critical care medicine to discover the new knowledge to the world and publish and present them into the international conference as well. So, I have four rules to tell you how can I succeed in work. The rule number one is, write your own goals. The study from Harvard Business School showed that the people who write their goal are more likely to succeed. So it's pretty easy. It's an easy job to do. To do. Please make it done today if you never do it before. The second thing is keep trying. I think all of you already know three famous people in the picture. Uh, Thomas Alva Edison, Colonel Sanders who found uh, KFC, and everyone knows J.K. Rowling. If you know how many times that these three famous person will fail, has been rejected, you will know the secret of success is keep trying, never give up. The third part is work as a team. In the real world, it's unlike in the movie world, there is no such a superhero like a Superman, a Wonder Woman, a Spider-Man, but actually we have the adventure team, right? So you have to work as a good team. It's not the team with the best player will win, but it's the player with the best team that wins. So you should work as a good team. And the most important soft skill that you should have is to work with the other people well as a teamwork. And the last thing that I would like to give to you is you should give it back to the other, to the community as well. I'm a regular bad donor. I uh, go to teach the doctor and the nurses at the rural area of Thailand. I held the conference for the doctor, the resident, the nurses in, in the provincial hospital. And they can access to the new knowledge without any cost. <coughs> When the people see you out in the world helping others, then they want to help you. You know Jim Carrey, right? Jim Carrey says that the effect you have to the other is the most valuable currency there is. By doing what you love, you inspire the other people to do what they love. And the ripple effect goes far beyond you ever know. And your valuation does not depend on how much money do you have, but it depends on how do you contribute to the others. So please do not only take, but you should give it back to the community as well. Okay, the, the last thing that I am going to, 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 to let you know is happiness because the happiness might be the most meaningful goal for everyone, right? After listening the long story of success, you might think it would be very pretty easy for me that I can be happy because there's a lot of successful things in my life. But actually, there is so many failures, the obstacles, these uh, disappointed events, coming into my life. And why am I still happy today? It strongly depends on your mindset. And I have three rules of the happy mindset to let you know. The first thing is, things doesn't happen to you, but things happen for you. 
Everything that happens for you, it always has a reason. If a good thing happens for you, it happens for you to make you joyful. But, on the other hand, when the bad thing happens for you, it happens for you to make you become stronger. The second thing is, the happy people will see the thing that they want. But on another way, the unhappy people will see only the things that prevent them from what they want. For instance, after you finish the landing race, <coughs> excuse me, you will find the food station behind the finish line. And the, the food station, uh, which has a delicious food, usually has a long waiting line. So the happy, the happy people can see only the delicious food, but the unhappy people usually see only the long waiting line. So it depends on who you would like to be. And the last thing, you cannot control the wind. The only thing that you can control is the cell. Um, you cannot control the thing that happened to you as your wish. The only thing that you can control is your mind and the way how you react, the way how you respond, and the way that how to figure it out. So please do not blame the bad things that might happen to you. If you can, if you can pass through this obstacle, this appointed event, you will be stronger, you will be smarter, and more likely to be successful. <laughs> so the biggest, the biggest part is, be happy is not because Everything is good, but because you can see the good thing, the good side of everything. And you can see, you cannot see the good side of everything with your eyes, but you only can see with your mind. Trust me, graduates, you got this. Mm. No doubt about it at all. So, now, put your shoulder back, hold your head up high, believe in yourself, and act as if the world awaits for your authenticity and your belief, because it does. And I cannot wait to see you change the world into the better way. Congratulations and thank you very much. <laughs>